Hey guys, Josh Cal here with more Twilight Princess. And, um, being stuck as a wolf is just the pits, isn't it? So let's go fix that. Midna, we're going. Back to... Gee, we, a lot of places have opened up. Ah, uh, no, it's not there. It's here. This one. This is the one we got. North Farron Woods. I feel like now that we've done that temple, we should probably have, like, more side quest stuff to do. But we're stuck as a wolf, so we can't really do anything. We need to... We need to fix this. This is a problem. I can't use my claw shot. I need more claw shot. Oh, man. Can I, like... You can speak to him. You can't obviously can't buy anything. Ha, ah, it's rough having to watch a shop in this unpopular part of town. Yeah, it sure is. Like, <laughs> I can't imagine many people come here. Ooh, it's that monkey from before. And, uh, what? That's not creepy at all. <laughs> Alright, let's take care of them. Easy. Spin attack OP. Did, did you save me? Thank you. Listen, since you're so nice, let me tell you something. There's a really pretty wooden area on the other side of this cliff. I climbed over there, but when I tried to get deeper into the woods, those guys attacked me. What's in those woods anyway? A power that you could not possibly imagine, you little monkey, you. So there's another section of forest beyond this cliff? Yeah, apparently there is. Alright, asshole, let's go. And of course we need to use our patented Midna Jump 1997 to get over there. Don't ask why I picked that year, by the way. I could have picked like an eventful year, like the year this game came out, but nah, I just said 1997 for no reason. Oh, <laughs> that could have been bad. Alright, let's go. On to the second one, now we have to wait for the wind. Yeah, a good thing the wind is blowing, because, um... If the wind was blowing, I wouldn't be able to get over here. It sucks I can't use my Gale Boomerang and all that. So we'll just have to, uh... Wolf it. <laughs> instead of wing it. So who set all this up, I wonder? Like... I have no clue. <laughs> Some ancient being. Anyway, though, enough stalling. Here he is. Another Howling Rock. Ah, this one's obvious. Do 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 do. Oh, where is all the stuff? There it is. Yeah, this is Prelude to Light, obviously from Ocarina of Time. And if I'm wrong, then I'm a really stupid Zelda player. Now I'm pretty sure I'm not wrong. Wait, it wasn't. I think that was already one. Hang on, I'm gonna look this up. All right, I got to sing it again. I forgot that. <laughs> I was literally gonna go look up, look up what this is while it plays. But actually, no, fuck it. I'll do that later. And s well, what 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 I always do is just slap the text on what it is here. So here you go. Here's what it is. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. That was definitely pre Prelude Lat. I'm not even gonna look that up. That's totally what it was. <laughs> anyway, though, so where's he going this time? To... Ah, right outside the castle. Well, that's cool and all, but I can't be a, a human. I need to be human. So, again, let's, let's freaking solve this problem of the wolf disease. Anyway, though, so this is a sort of familiar, but not familiar place. Sacred Grove. And as we can hear, we can hear like a remix of, uh, the, uh, Lost Woods. So this is like just a dead room, right? You can't, like, yeah, you can't go anywhere. We've got to go over here and do even more freaking howling. <laughs> I don't know why they put two of these, like, back to back like this. Yeah, aced it. Now, okay, I don't. I, I'd be really stupid if I didn't know what that was. That's obviously uh, Zelda's lullaby. So 
so obviously this, the forest likes that song. Oh, so uh, Skull Kid can now summon creepy puppet things. <laughs> what, did Majora's Mask give him that ability or what? Obviously it's, no, it's got, probably has to do with that, um, like, flute thing he's using. Anyway though, so, uh, the Lost Woods is kind of a pain in this game, I must say, uh... Well, this time it isn't, but we do have to come back here later and it's more of an annoying, a uh, more of an annoyance there, I should say. But I don't think it's that much of a problem this time now. What we have to do is follow the Skull Kid. And, um, wherever the hell he's gone. Dude, they just drop all in a bunch, so I can just spin attack them. That's pretty dumb. Oh, you can hear him. There he is. I feel bad attacking him, though. I, wa I do wonder, is this, like, because in Ocarina of Time, we saw that there was multiple Skull Kids, so I do wonder if this is the one from Majora's Mask, or if it's just, um, one of the random ones from, uh... Lost Woods, which we where we are currently are, in fact, the Lost Woods. Or Sacred Grove, whatever you want to call it. Now, where did he nick off to? This way, I'm pretty sure. You can tell where he is, because there's like a... Yeah, yeah, this way. So that's the way we came in, but that just got like blocked off, so now we have to head over this way. <laughs> it's a maze, and we have no map, as you can see. So, that's a problem. Uh-oh. Damn, that grass had a lot of green rupees in it. Like, give me some of that. Alright, but I can go up here, but do I need to go up here? That is the question. I can just ignore these things. No, I don't think we need... We do not need to go up here, okay. Actually, did I go the wrong way? No, we just, we just weren't supposed to stop in this room. We're supposed to keep going. Alright, come on. Oh, he actually got me. Oh, they're pretty fast movers. No, wait, isn't this the way I went? Oh, see, we're lost already. Okay. I think I went the wrong way. Where, where Where's the other way? There, there it is. Okay. <laughs> there we go. I can hear him. He's on top of that thing. Which we can get to by going around here, I'm pretty sure. Oh. Oh. Just, I'm trying to, I'm trying to kill your master. Just let me do it already. <laughs> Damn, wooden puppet dudes. I don't think it matters what attack you use, by the way. You still have to hit him the same number of times. Or once. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, it doesn't, like, pan out to show you which exit he ran out, so you kind of got to guess. <laughs> I guess this way. Uh, we were already here. This, Yeah, we hit him. That's where we hit him the first time. But maybe we were supposed to go this way. <laughs> I don't know, if you wander around enough, you'll find him eventually. <laughs> I guess. I ah, said so that was that was where we went the second time, so this is a new way. We haven't gone this way yet. Oh, he's up there. Oh, we can get there from going through here, can't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, okay. This is where I was that other time, and I did climb up this already. But now the door that leads to that other room is open. So it's not actually that complicated. If you like path Yes, that is a that is a blue rupee. If you path out everything in your head, you can't really get lost that easily. But you know, twelve-year-old me was like, I don't have mini map. I don't know where I am. Need mini map. That's why I hated Fable Two so much. But <laughs> no, I'm, am I going to talk about that now? <laughs> Fable One had a mini map. Why the hell did not Two and Three? But whatever. <laughs> That always pissed me off about those games, because I like the first Fable so much, but the second and third I just can't get into it, and I'm pretty sure it's because of that one main fact. But whatever. Zelda is superior to Fable. Anyway, I'm pretty sure, now that we go through here, I'm pretty sure we're getting close to the end. What's in the skulls? Hearts and rupees. Yeah, yeah, here we are, okay. This is like the battle arena. It's time to fight because I haven't hit him enough already, apparently. He must be like a mortal or something. <laughs> How dare you get this far? <laughs> oh, he's making my Wiimote vibrate. Oof. That means he's serious. Okay, alright. So how do you want me to handle this? Well, I'm pretty... 
No, okay. Yeah, you get close to him. He, um, flees. So what you gotta do is, like, kill these. Then wait for him to start blowing. Then you get him. And I um, think we have to do this, like, a couple times. I wouldn't even classify this as a boss fight. It's more of a, a test. Oh, gee. Speaking of tests, oh, I know what's coming up. I don't like it. <laughs> and if you play this game before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Is that enough for him to blow? No, you need to kill all of them. Okay, no, it is enough for him to blow. Come on, get up there. Oh, got him. Good. Yes, it doesn't matter at all what attack you use. He's sure summoning a lot of those things, though. Hmm, where do they come from? Well... Obviously, they're not very smart. Damn. Damn, I thought I killed all of them. Where'd he go? There he is. Dude, I killed all your dudes. Yeah, there we go. And that's that test over. Ah, oh, you have hit me enough times. I shall let you go. Bye. <laughs> I don't think that's what he'd sound like, but whatever. Now, oh, this rock here, by the way, you can blow that up. If that wasn't super obvious. But anyway, enough lollyganging around. We've got important things to do. Like, uh... Oh, here we go. Here we go, everyone hates this. Oh, more howling. I don't think we'll ever howl three times in the same episode ever again. They just like spam howling at you for a bit and then it's like, what happened to the howling? The howling's gone, I don't know. Ah oh, well, though, I can't complain about getting to hear Zelda's Lullaby, because that is, indeed, a good song. Alright, but this minigame, sometimes I ace it, sometimes I take forever to figure it out. Let's see what's going to happen during the recording. Am I going to get super lucky like I did in Roll Goal? I hope so. <laughs> we are guardians of this land. Guide us to where we once stood. Only then can you enter the true sacred grove. Okay, so how this works is, like, if you move, they will move, like, opposite to each other. Now, I wanna... Yeah, honestly, I don't really have, like, a plan for how this works. I kinda just randomly jump around and hope I can get them in the right positions. Well, I guess what you wanna do is kinda, like... Not that. <laughs> Alright, hang on. No, I got a plan. I got a plan. Right, that'll make him do that. And then I can, uh... Do that. And then I can, uh, do... That. Right, my plan is working. Okay. <laughs> now... Uh... Yeah, that way, that way. Now, that way again. Okay, now go... <laughs> this is not working. No, it totally is, okay? Okay. Now that. Now... Um... <laughs> now that. Actually, shit, no, I didn't want to do that. Oh, that screwed it up. Or did I? No, I screwed it up. Alright, no, I got I got this. Okay. <laughs> Freestyling this does not work. I mean, it probably would be helpful to look up a guide for the least amount of steps. But, I mean, I'm not doing that. Guides are for wusses. So, I guess I'm a big wuss then. Okay. Alright, let's jump down there. Now, let's, uh... Actually, let's jump down another one. Because, yeah, they can't move. The, I guess the... The idea is they can't move if they're like on a wall, so if you, you know, move them while they're on walls, they can get locked into like a position. So look at this, look at this here. And this is close. 
oh, I think I fucked up. I'm like stuck now. I can't, yeah, I can't, I, I, I fucked up. I'm stuck. I'm literally stuck. Wah, wah, wah. I can't, I can't jump to where he is. Good thing you can try again and completely reset it. Okay, so uh, that didn't go as planned. <laughs> Let me try this again. Okay. Okay. Uh, hmm. I think you want to start off with going down. Because you need more, like, room. And now you just kind of <laughs> guess. <laughs> do that. Okay, now make them bang into each other. Or no, don't. Okay, do that. That'll work. Now, um... Swap, yeah, swap their sides. Okay, that'll work. Now, like... Okay, okay. Now, this'll work. This'll work. Okay. Um, does it matter which side I move to, though? I think it does. Which one? Okay, if I go up, which one goes up? Okay, that one. Okay, so I want to go to this side, then. I'm pretty... Oh, yeah, make them bang into each other. Dong! <laughs> That's good. Okay, now go... No, that's not what I wanted. That way. Okay, that way. Yeah, you see why people don't like this minigame. <laughs> it's pretty, um... Out there, I want to say. But no, I, now that I've got them in this position, we pretty much automatically win, I'm pretty sure. Okay, do that. Do that. Now, I want to make him... Oh, it's like so close, yet... Alright, I want you... I want you to move... No, go back against the wall, okay. Now, I need to... Yeah, you you just do that, okay? Now, yeah, now we've got it, okay. Look at this. Boom. And... Boom. There we go. Not so bad, see? And we only have to do that one time, so it's not like... It's not like the game makes you do it, like, 50 times. I, I kind of like it. I look forward to it, but... <laughs> during a regular playthrough, during the LP, I was kind of afraid I was going to fuck up, like, hardcore, but eh. Only took me like a couple a couple minutes, I think. <laughs> so whatever. Alright. Now we have access to the great, the almighty, the extravagant, the awesome by oh this is an amazing area. I love this. Here it is. The sword accepted you as its master. Yeah, because I'm an asshole. <laughs> Very epic, I love that. This thing is the embodiment of the evil magic that Zant cast on you. It's definitely different from our tribe's shadow magic. I find it very interesting. <laughs> Careful, if you touch it, you'll turn back into a beast. This thing is too dangerous. It's probably the best if we just leave it here, huh? But on the other hand, if we kept it, you'd be able to transform into a beast anytime you wanted. <laughs> yes, since Zant was kind enough to give this to us, we should be thankful and use it all we can. If you need it, just call me. I'll keep a low profile so I'll hide in your shadow when you're human, but I can change you whenever. You can be a wolf anytime you like. Uh, great. Also, thanks to this thing, you can warp whenever you want by switching into wolf form. But hey, listen, asshole. I've got a little favor to ask. 
<laughs> it's like she's just calling me an asshole. <laughs> Would you mind coming me with me to find something called the Mirror of Twilight? It's hidden somewhere in Hyrule. Yes, the Mirror of Twilight. It's our last potential link to Zand. I don't want anything to be linked to him, but whatever. Alright. Now the real game begins. I, I also really like it how they automatically switch you back to the hero's clothes. Um, of course, I could switch back to the Orden sword if I wanted, but like, who, who wants that? Because <laughs> we still had the Zora armor equipped. Anyway, though. So yeah, the Mask Sword is like slightly stronger than the Orden Sword. I don't think it's like not much of an improvement. But yeah, if I just press up, we can transform into Wolf at any time. And as you can see, we can warp at any time. Awesome. We can like a lot of stuff has opened up to, up to us now, but that more that probably has a lot more to do with this than the Wolf transformation. Anyway, though, that'll definitely be all for this episode. We've probably gone on a bit too long. But I'll see you next time for uh. Ooh, there's a lot of things we can do, actually. I don't know. I'll, <laughs> I'll figure out what we're doing. Probably just continuing the story before we, like... Because, we, like, we could go do a couple things. We could capture some more bugs or, like... Or, uh... Well, you know, it's lots of things. So I'll see you next time for that. Thanks for watching.